it was uh, obviously two similar sides, really, I think. we uh, Again, we've probably weathered the storm. We had Dwayne Peel and James Gaskell get injured in warm-up, which is quite freakish, and Josh go off after 15 minutes. But we, we weathered that 20 minutes, 30, 25 minutes in the first half where it was nil-nil. Um, I thought that time, you know, we were playing reasonably well. Defence was good, and uh, the referee was doing really well at that stage. We've got to ask you about Dan Cipriano. There's been a lot of talk about him, but you brought him in from the bench, and I take it you know, didn't make up for what you wanted from him to do when he came on. Well, he's like, you know, Mark Easter and Danny were both, uh, Mark were even on the bench, you know, we've got some good players, and, you know, we've got a lot of competition in the squad, and people have to fight and play in the second team on a Monday night, and Danny's done that, and he come back, and it was always going to be time for him to play. He thought it'd be a bit later than it was, but he come on and did what he does well. He controlled the game with the pack giving him some ball and we got the jitters in the second half again. We need to find out what the drama is there, but you know, he played really well. He won us the game. No, I think, you know, everybody talks about Danny Cipriani. He's a very good player and we just want the consistency and you know, he's come on and proved his worth. You know, we, and what we needed to do is for him and for us is do that regularly. And if he does that then, you know, we we've got a competitive side. He, what was the situation with the penalty trial? I don't know. I think I think you know referees make those decisions, and he's an accurate referee more often than not. So, you know, the scrum sort was sorted out tonight, and you know we've got parity there. And I just think we would probably give the penalty away early on when they scored, or just before they scored. And I think he he judged it to they were going to score, which is you know eight metres out is a fair call. I think we could say the same for the, the when we went for the try in the first half, and they dived in at the feet and collapsed it. You know, so we just want a bit of consistency there, but. You know, overall, I think he, he had a good game, the referee. He, he got most of his decisions right tonight. You know, we, we, we weathered the 20 minutes where it was a good defensive effort. Um, and, you know, Mike Forshaw takes a lot of credit for that with Brian Redpath. You know, if we, we couldn't defend the drive at one stage, so we conceded the try and then we gave a penalty try. And I think it didn't really look like scoring apart from that. Our defence was pretty solid. Um, so, you know, it, it, uh, th things are looking, look, looking reasonable at the moment. And... You know, we've got a massive fixture next week against Northampton away, who are obviously on form. But, you know, we've got nine points out of the first three games. We've got to, you know, count our blessings. I think this, it was four months last year before we were on nine months. So, well, Dwayne, Dwayne at the beginning of the warm up, he felt hamstring. Um, and, you, you know, players like him, if they're not 100% right, you can't play them. And then at, at the end of the warm up, James Gaskill. We don't know what he's done, it's just some tendon on the bottom of his foot, but literally as if he stood on a nail, he can't put pressure through. So that, you know, was disjointed. But Patterson's a good player, he took over the line-out calling and, um, you know, it, it, we brought Josh Beaumont on, he's a kid, but he's a physical lad and was doing really well till he got injured. And Fortunately, Easter uh, hadn't had a couple of beers before he was called from upstairs to uh, <laughs> put my boots on and somebody else's gum shield and play well for 60 minutes. He was in, yeah, yeah civvies. Two glasses of wine, I think. <laughs> What's the severity of the McLeod's elbow? Really? Yeah, again, we'll we'll whip that out tomorrow. But McLeod elbow, and Beaumont and ankle and Gaskill foot. Well, not really. We we'll, we'll weigh it up tomorrow. But serious enough, they couldn't play, which is you know. To be fair to the lads who come in, Cliff had a good game. Yeah, I think the team showed its character, led well by uh, Braid and Seymour. You know, they they, they, they controlled it a little bit and. You know, I think Dan Bray knocked himself out in the first tackle. He, he said he can't remember the game from there on in, but you know, you don't get a concussion call from that. Out. You know, I'm still tough after last week. You know, we think we, uh, you know, we we were hardly done at the scrum la last week, but we can't harp on about it. You get on. You work with these people, and you know, I think, that, as I say, the officials tonight had a good game. <coughs> okay. Thank you.